So Oracle DRM product evolution in 60 seconds. So the tool was originally developed by Bank One down in Texas. Um, Pre-1995, Raza marketed a product called the Raza Dimension Server, or Raza DS. In 2005, Hyperion acquired Raza Solutions and renamed the product to Hyperion MDM. In the spring of 2007, April I believe it was, Oracle acquired Hyperion and renamed the product to Oracle DRM, Data Relationship Management. In current day, 2013, 2014, Oracle DRM 11123X is now part of the Fusion Edition of the Oracle EPM product suite. So what's, what's in DRM? Obviously master data. DRM is a master data management tool. Uh, transactional data does not reside within DRM. So within DRM we have master data which includes financial, organizational, and analytical dimensions um, such as account entities, cost centers, products, projects, customers, etc. Associated with that master data, we have metadata or data about data. These are the properties, attributes which go along with the master data. And we also have code lists, lookups, code sets, uh, which is your reference data, the data that's assigned to the property field within DRM. So DRM enables an organization to implement and maintain its data governance processes and policies. It's really important to understand that DRM and the concept of master data management is as, as much about people and process as it is about technology. So the second bullet here, DRM requires alignment of people, processes, and technology for success. Within DRM, we have hierarchies, dimensions, business rules, properties and attributes, mappings, validations, comparative reporting, what-if analysis, as-of versioning, audit capability, and with the new DRG module, change management processes. DRM is a mature and widely used product nowadays. It's been around for quite a while now. Um, there are many companies using the tool, well over 200, I believe, um, and they are represented across quite a, a different selection of verticals from communications and manufacturing to high tech, public sector, financial services, life sciences and healthcare, and retail. These companies are typically having issues with general ledgers and multiple financial systems. They're dealing with complex hierarchy management. Some of them are dealing with M&A activity and, and COA integration along with corporate restructures. DRM helps out with all those things. 